reviewing the Infinity Q50 Red Sport and why it's so awesome. Coming at you right now. So, the Infinity Q50 Red Sport. Hmm. Well, it's a rear wheel drive, 400 horsepower monster sedan. Now, saying it that way, it makes it that this car is put into a different class now. It's no longer just a sports sedan, it's actually like a very sports sedan, if that makes any sense. Mm. Anyways, that puts it in a different class. That puts it in the class with the M3 sedan, the Mercedes uh, C63S. I believe it puts it within the class. I'm not saying that it's exactly those cars, however, it puts it within range. Now, be, when you go and consider that it's within range of these other cars, now we're starting to look at price points. People are like, oh no, BMW is the best. Mercedes is the best. The new Alfa Romeo, even though it just came out, it's the best. Well, you know what? The cheapest of all those cars is gonna be $62,000 for the cheapest of those four, which is the Cadillac ATS-B. This car's starting price is at $48,000. Now, I ask you, is that $12,000 difference or actually if we go to the Mercedes C63S you're talking about a $20,000 difference so I ask you is it worth it let's find out so let's recap first in the performance you have 400 horsepower except for this one this one's Adams Adams is the one who lent me the car thank you for letting me run the car Adam but normally it's 400 this one's 435 as far as torque goes, you have 350 pound-feet of torque and a 0 to 60 time of 4.3 seconds. Maybe a little more in Adam's case. So, peak torque is a massive stretch from 1600 RPMs all the way to 5200 RPM. Holy crap! Now the engine's twin turbochargers are integrated into the exhaust manifold. A layout that pretty much eliminates torque lag. You heard me right when I said that. Two, tar two turbos, not one. Two turbos, one turbos, no, two turbos. Two turbos. Cut. It's true though. You would almost believe that this car wasn't turbocharged. Well, almost. If it wasn't for the beautifully sounding spool that came from the turbos. Now also another thing about the performance in this car is, most other cars that are out there, that are putting out these big numbers and horsepower, the sound is not original. It's an inauthentic sound coming from the speakers. Some of the sound is, but some of it isn't. For example, the BMW M3 I'm talking about. I'm talking to you. However, in this car, all that sound, 100% natural, baby. 100% organic, plucked from the vines of Japan. Mm, you smell that? Mm, sushi. So let's talk about the comfort of the interior and also how spacious it is. First off, a lot of people are very complaining a lot about the steer by wire system in this car. Now if you have not or don't know what steer by wire is, I recommend you check out my Q60 video. I talk a lot about that in that video. Anyways, continuing. So basically people are complaining about it saying, oh it doesn't have that much steering feel, oh it's not as sporty. Not necessarily. I have to say that one thing that's really nice about it is that there's so many different ways you can adjust it since it's all electronically adjusted by computers in the car. You can go and adjust it in many, many different ways as far as steering feel. You can have it softer, firmer, in the middle, you know, all different kinds of forms. So if you're daily driving this car, you know, it, you can have a lighter steering if you wanted to, which is kind of nice sometimes, especially in traffic. Going into the interior, I really like how everything sets into place the minute you turn it on, especially these paddle shifters. They're very nice quality, and I really like how they're not attached to the actual steering wheel. And it makes a really satisfying clicky sound. The dual touchscreens are actually very useful, and I like how responsive the touchscreen actually is. You press a button, there you go. You swipe over, not a problem. The cabin's a really nice place to be in, especially on long road trips. It's more luxurious than sporty, however, it's still very nice. Overall, I can really see myself in this interior for a long amount of time. It's a very nice place to be in, like I said. And the polished aluminum pedals really look very nice with it. Gives it an extra sporty edge. And these two screens, well, I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like them. The quality of the leather as well is very impressive. It feels very, very premium. Everything you touch just feels premium. And as it should, it is a luxury sports car. So, the rear seat space is actually really good. I pushed the 
front seat all the way back just to show you how much space I have. Now, like I always say, I'm not that tall. I'm 5'6", so I've got a couple inches here, and I've got about a good four or five inches up here as well. So it's pretty spacious considering the seats all the way back. And like I said, this is a performance car. So most performance cars, that's one of the things you give up is rear interior space. In this one, you really don't have to. And now what for most of you have been waiting for, the looks. It's beautiful, let's just admit it. Infinity knows how to make a good looking car. They've just been on the ball lately. I mean, look how nice it looks. It really looks like it's like Batman's car, like a superhero's car. Like you feel like if you were part of the Justice League, you like, once you left your job and you're like, all right, well, a job well done and you know, I've saved the day. You go back to your car and this is what you pull up in. I mean, it's just awesome. But anyways, something more important, let's focus on the sound. Now when it comes to blind spots, this car actually has very few blind spots actually. The rear windows are really well, and also the side windows are nice and big. The slats on the side are not too big on the pillars. However, one other thing I was gonna say too is the side mirrors are actually very big. I love how massive the side mirrors are. The videos probably don't justify it, however, they are very big, trust me. Now, there are different modes in the car. You have your snow, your eco, very good, you know, for you people who like hybrids and stuff, that's great. Uh, you have your standard, uh, you have your sport, ooh, and then you have your sport plus, and then you have personal, which you can go and adjust yourself. I personally would not take it off of sport plus. <laughs> One of the other really nice features of this car is that it has a nice heated steering wheel, which is really nice in the winter time. However, I'm in Florida, so I won't be using it. So now let's try the zero to 60 time. This crazy. It's just this car is so cool. I feel like if Batman drove a car, just by looking on the outside, you'd feel like Batman would definitely drive this car. It's like a modern, sophisticated Batmobile. Blue mobile. Blue mobile. Maybe a, if Batman was a Smurf, he'd pick this one. You also have the calipers that have the McLaren paint on it, which the color is volcano. Volcano orange, actually. Would you buy this car? Yes, I would buy this car. I would, absolutely. For the, I mean, honestly, for a $12,000 less than the ATS-V and over twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000 less than a base uh, Mercedes C63S, I mean, I think it's a no-brainer. You get very close to power numbers, you get very close performance numbers, I mean, I don't know, especially if you're not going to a track, you're really gonna notice that big of a difference. feels so fast, especially, I mean, it's 350 pound feet of torque, but it's like instant. It really like, like I said before, if it wasn't for the that beautiful turbo spool, you really would have noticed that this car was not naturally aspirated. What's your favorite thing about this car? I would say definitely, it would be a very close acceleration or exterior looks. It's very close between the two. Before I continue everybody, I just want to say thank you so much to Adam Kirschenbaum for lending me his personal vehicle. He's actually the salesman for Infinity of the Palm Beaches in Okeechobee in West Palm Beach, Florida. Check him out, he's a great salesman. If you want his number, it's right down below. 
Once again, thank you for watching everybody. And if you want to go and like this as a channel, like on the bottom, subscribe, or even put a comment on there. Either way, I'd appreciate it. I can't wait to see you next time. See you guys later.